we were constantly told in India that mm. China is not an enemy. Yeah. We are a generation which has grown up on the panchil. Mm. Today's India is a different India. Yes. You know, it has seen the Galwan clashes. Mm -hmm. The betrayal has happened once again. We've been, you know, shouting and screaming for 60 years all over the world saying, hey, you don't know who you're dealing with. China occupied our country. Around a million Tibetans died. 98% of monasteries and nunneries were destroyed. 80% of treasures in monasteries looted, burned, sold. If you want to understand China, you must understand Tibet. If you don't understand Tibet, you will never understand China. You were telling me about uh, your dad. Bef he came with Dalai Lama. He, he came, yes. When Tibet was an independent country, hmm. we barely had two, 3,000 military personnel. And then the guerrillas, right, the Tibetans, you know, yeah. uh, like our father and so many volunteered. The Chinese brought like around 100,000 yeah. uh, veterans of Korean War. But they, they fought very bravely and they defeated some of the, you know, hmm. Uh, Chinese platoons. What they managed to do was secure his solid escape. Uh, so that was his uh, contribution. Beijing has announced that he is a separatist and they reserve the right to choose the next Dalai Lama. Chinese have no business whatsoever. I mean, they are communists, they are atheists, they destroy monasteries, they destroy, destroy monks and nuns. They don't believe in religion and they have no right whatsoever to select, you know, religious leader. Mm -hmm.